Are you having trouble formatting your thesis table of contents to look like the example in the School of Arts and Sciences thesis guidelines? My name is Pamela Pipes. I'm the program developer in the Graduate Student Center. In this video, I will show you how to use tab stops and leader dots to perfectly format your table of contents. Most of the formatting requirements are fairly straightforward. There are, however, a few that tend to cause trouble. The first is that the page number digits need to be aligned with the ones under the E, the tens under the G, hundreds under the A, etc. of page. Another is that leader dots must be included between each entry and page number and must end and align with the P of page. And lastly, chapter number periods must align with each other and the P of chapter followed by five spaces. So first let's talk about how to set tabs in the first place. I'm going to open a blank document and show you how you can locate the tabs dialog box. From the home tab, select the paragraph dialog box here and look for tabs button in the bottom left corner of this box. Click that button to open the tabs dialog box and here you see you can enter a tab stop position whatever position you want you can elect an alignment and whether or not you want leaders associated with that tab once you've uh, input all this uh, information you click set in order to set the tab and then OK you can set multiple tabs in one session uh, just remember to set to click set after each one and when you're done click OK. So the first uh, formatting issue we're going to talk about is uh, aligning the page and page number digits to the right margin um, and how you do that is you set a right aligned tab stop at six inches which is the right margin on the first double space line below the page title. So when you open that tabs dialog box, you're going to set a tab stop position at six inches, the alignment will be right, and the leader option will be none. So now we'll look at how it's done. We'll go back to our blank document. And uh, your page, your table of contents page should have the same formatting as the rest of your document, that is your left margin should be one and a half inches and all other margins are one inch. And on this page, you're going to type table of contents in all caps, centered at the top of the page. From here, you do uh, one double space down. Oops, I forgot to set that to double space. Hold on. Okay, one double space down. Go ahead and put your uh, cursor back to the left margin. And then we're going to set our first tab. Uh, this will be, like I said, a six inch tab position, right aligned with no leaders. So you enter six inches right alignment and on the leader options make sure that you leave it as one which is none as the as that is the default just leave that like it is click set and OK so now when we hit tab you see it takes the cursor all the way over to the right margin and we will type page now we go one double space down and this is where we start listing our contents. The first uh, content will be abstract. And then we're going to want to set our next tab. We're going to want to add the tab for the leader dots. After entering your first content title, which is abstract, you're going to insert a leader dot between it and the page number by adding a left aligned tab stop at 5.7 inches with leader dot style number two. 
So on our tabs dialog box, we're going to enter a tab stop position of 5.7 inches, left alignment with leader dot style number two. So back to the paragraph dialog box, click tabs. And you notice that the tab stop position at six inches is still there, which is good. We don't have to re-enter it. But from here, we just enter 5.7, left alignment, and number two on the leader dot style. Set that tab, click OK. Now from here, you have to remember that uh, the Arts and Sciences format requirements require that you put one space behind the content title before entering your leader dot. So we insert one space, then click the tab button to insert the leader dots. And then we tab again, which takes us over to the tab stop position at six inches to type in our page number, which is for the abstract, a lowercase Roman numeral three. Now from here we would continue to type in our uh, initial contents. Um, from here you would go to acknowledgments if you had any and list of tables and list of figures. Uh, the next step would be to align the chapter number periods. To align the periods following the chapter numbers with the P of chapter, the easiest way to do that is to add a decimal aligned tab stop at 0.31 inches. On the tabs dialog box, you're going to enter a tab stop position of 0.31 inches. The alignment will be decimal and the leader dot style will be none. So let's talk about how that's done. Back to our blank document. I've skipped ahead and entered the uh, remaining initial contents and chapter. One double space down from chapter, we're going to insert our next tab stop, the decimal aligned tab stop at 0.31 inches. Okay, now that we have that tab stop set, we should be able to click tab once, uppercase Roman numeral one, a period, and then five spaces to type your title, which is introduction in this case. Oops. Now remember to insert your space after your title before clicking tab again for the leader dots and tab once more for the page number. To achieve proper indent for subheadings, um, you're going to use just the space bar. Lettered subheadings, for example, A, B, C, D, are indented five spaces from the chapter title, or the easier way to do this is to space 19 spaces from the left margin. Numbered subheadings, for example, 1, 2, 3, are indented five spaces from the lettered subheading title, or 30 spaces from the left margin. We'll go back to our blank document here. From the left margin, 19 spaces. And then your lettered subheading. Followed by a period, two spaces, and then the title of the subheading. Okay. 
one space after the title, followed by a tab for your leader dots, and another tab for your page number. Skipping ahead, here is proper indentation for the numbered subheadings. We count over 30 spaces. Place your number, a period, two spaces, the title of the subheading, a single space, tab for the leader dots, and tab again for the page number. Continue to insert tabs and appropriate spaces to complete your table of contents. Now I'd also like to talk to you a little bit about list of tables and list of figures. To line up leader dots and page numbers for your list of tables, use the same tab stop settings as used in the table of contents. To line up the table number period under the E of table as required by the format guide, you can use spaces to produce reliable if not perfect results. Alternately, you can set a decimal tab stop at 0.38 inches. On the list of figures, to line up leader dots and page numbers, again, use the same tab stop settings as used in the table of contents. To line up the table number period under the E of figure as required by the format guide, you can use spaces, again, uh, to produce reliable if not perfect results, or you can set a decimal tab stop at 0.44 inches. After you've entered list of tables at the top in all caps centered, table at the left margin, page at the right margin using the 6.0 inch tab stop right aligned, enter one double space down and insert your decimal tab stop to align the period under the E of table. Again, that tab stop position is going to be 0 0.38 inches. It's a decimal aligned tab stop with no leaders. Click set and OK. So from here, you'll hit the tab button, put your table number followed by a period, then the appropriate number of spaces, which I believe is five. Remember on this line you'll also have to go ahead and add in the 5.7 inch leader dot tab stop. Correction, it is not five spaces after the period on the list of tables, it is just two. So two spaces and then your table title followed by a single space and then your leader dots tab which you'll have to set again here at this point.
for list of figures, it's the same process. You put list of figures at the top in all caps. are going to need to clear a few here. This is a good exercise. You need to, you'll need to clear these tabs before you tab over to put page at the far right because if you don't you'll end up with leader dots on this top line when you don't want them. So first we'll set our tab stop position for the decimal aligned tab. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and set the 5.7 inch left aligned with leader dots tab as well. So now when we hit tab, we enter the figure number followed by a period, two spaces, the figure title, a single space, tab again for the leader dots, and another tab for the page number. Okay, I hope that I haven't confused you too much. Um, if you do need more help, uh, you're welcome to make an appointment for a one-on-one -on -one format consultation. Again, my name is Pamela Pipes. I can be found in the Graduate Student Center, which is in the Briscoe Administration Building, Room 104. You may call to make your appointment at 432-837-8247, or you're also welcome to email me at ppipes at solross.edu.